Alright, this is uh, the Osmo Chips installation video for the WOD. Uh, when you receive the WOD, you'll, from us, you're getting these two pieces here. First is the Triming Screwdriver, which allows you to open up your Wii. Second is the WOD. So, rip it open. Slack on there with sticky tape. Alright, so you've got five pieces here. You've got the wide vertical stand, a little data ribbon cable, power cable, the actual wide mod chip itself, and a little sticker to cover it up. Now, in addition, you need a normal screwdriver to open some of the screws on your Wii. Um, we might be providing this at a later date if we can get a good deal on, on, on both units together, um, but most people have one anyway. Um, I'm also using a, a pair of uh, tweezers to kind of take the stickers uh, and the uh, rubber stoppers off the Wii. Um, you can use a little uh, knife or a scalpel. Alright, so starting from the beginning, how do you open your Wii? Um, first thing you do is you pop up that flap there, push in, it comes off. Grab the normal screwdriver. What you like to do is get something like this so you can put the screws in there and then it run everywhere. So take these screws off. That last one, it's easier if you lift it up like that. There's four screws here. Contrary to popular belief, you don't actually have to take off these screws here at all. So just one, two, two trimming screws. Alright. Now, there's four screws here, but they're underneath these two rubber stoppers and these two stickers. So you take this sticker off there. And take off. I've opened these away before, so it's a little bit easier for me to take them off, but um, they're not too hard anyway. So, two black trimming screws here. Some trialings are magnetic, but the magnetism isn't that great, so you can just bang it out. Alright, to the base. Um, I like to remove this screw first, and you just kind of lift it up as you're going along. Alright, then you remove this sticker here, and then this rubber stopper here. Um, remove these two trialing screws first. And then the last one, this one's a little bit difficult. I like to pull against this while I'm turning it. So there's a bit more friction on the screw. Alright. Pull this gently off. Let it drop. Some people like to disconnect it. I don't see a point. You can just leave it there. And then you put your fingernail on the, the bottom part of the wheel there. And just lift up. Alright, almost there. One, two, three, four. Four screws holding down the DVD drive. So lift up your DVD drive two centimeters, slide to the right, this little bit will pop out here, turn it around, and that's your exposed DVD drive. With your nails, just you take the uh, power cable off, and then just lift this bit up gently. Leave your thumb on it while you're lifting up, so you don't, um, don't pull it too hard and rip it off. Now, this is where you install the wad. This is the wad here. Um, first thing you do is connect this ribbon cable uh, to the Wii side. So you slide it in, clamp it down, then you connect the power. Um, can't really plug this in the wrong way. If you do it that way it won't won't fit. And you've got your power piggyback. Um, so that little groove there uh, to make sure that's the right way right way up. Okay. Then the data ribbon piggyback cable. Plug that in, clamp it down, 
And the last cable you put is the one from the wad. So this is the wad here. Here's the uh, rim cable. Um, actually, you almost have to do it upside down. Some guides are going to have people remove this um, cable from the wad and then connect it up at the end. Uh, it is easier in theory, but it is quite delicate inside here, so we're going to show you how to do it without doing that. Alright, now, for the first time I installed it, I did it this way, but it's quite a tight fit, so what I'm going to do is, this is the wad protection uh, label, so take that off. The exact fit, so make sure you don't kind of have it hanging over the side. So that's on uh, nice and tight there. Now I'm going to turn the wad upside down. I'm going to tuck this uh, cable back in its little spot here. And that's the wad there. Now you have to connect the uh, DVD drive back up. So obviously there's, there's this cable here that goes back to the Wii DVD drive, clamp it down. And lastly is your power cable, uh, which goes in with the, this side. The way you can tell is there's a, a groove on the, on the top, and it's not in the middle, and you, you look at where the groove is uh, on here, and you just kind of uh, plug it in the correct way. Now this starts to look a little bit messy, so be careful not to yank or pull anything. Um, he's going to close the DVD drive now. And there we go. The DVD drive, the watt is pretty big, so it does kind of sit, uh, make the DVD drive sit a little bit higher. Don't worry, you don't have to clamp your Wii down all the way. Um, so we're going to close the Wii now, so we've got just our, uh, our four screws that we had before. I like to sit them in place with a trial and screwdriver first because uh, that's usually magnetized. And then just turn those screws a couple of times. As I said, it might be elevated a bit. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's anywhere else to, to put the wad because it is so big. All right. In that state there, you can now test your wad. And I can close a Wii in, in 30 seconds and, and so I don't mind if it doesn't work and I have to open it up again, but it might take you a while. So we're gonna, we're gonna test it out now. Um, so this is the power for the wad. It's gonna plug back into the side there. So I'll just move this.